Hey guys, how you doing? Hope you're doing okay. Going to kind of skim read through this article. It's pretty short, so I'd rather just give you a pretty much an overview as to what's happened. There's a link in the description, as there always will be. Uh, it's in regards to this scumbag here. His name is Larry Dwayne Prudholm Jr. He's 33 years of age from Texas, and he's been sentenced to 50 years in prison for murdering his girlfriend's five-year-old son. So he pled guilty. Um, seemingly he was planning to plead not guilty, but just a few days before the trial, if I understand correctly, he changed his plea to pleading guilty. Uh, so he has been sentenced to 50 years in prison. Having said that, uh, he will be eligible for parole after 25 years uh, under Texas law. Now, the mother's trial is still t pending, still to take place. The mother is called Danielle Faulkner, 32 years of age. She has a trial, uh, or she's been charged with injury to a child causing serious bodily injury. Uh, so that trial is um, still pending. We don't have the details of the uh, boy's name. Um, so that's, that's been withheld. Um, Initially, the couple lied. Uh, the couple told authorities about the child falling while taking out trash. However, as I mentioned, the scumbag pleaded guilty mere days before his trial. Um, uh, and I'm just going to go into some specific details here. So I'll provide a trigger warning at this point. Emergency Medical Services responded September the 17th, 2019 to a resident on American Plant Road about a child having trouble breathing. In this initial account, dispatchers were told that the bell, uh, the boy fell off the porch earlier that night whilst taking out garbage. First responders said that massive bruising to the five-year-old's body did not match the couple's account. Thereby, emergency medical services relayed these concerns to police deputies. Uh, and unfortunately, the boy died um, a few days later, September the 20th, 2019. Um, so the article wraps up by uh, providing a quote saying that law enforcement were happy because they wanted Prudhomme to admit to guilt, uh, which he has. Uh, and I concur, that is a good thing. Um, and I think it's probably... W would it be appropriate? I think it would be appropriate to commend the officers. Um, the, the, I would presume, I'm guessing, that a culprit uh, would only, would, would, would typically only uh, admit guilt uh, due to the, I'll say the word coercion, which may not be an appropriate word, but due to the encouragement, the, the pressure applied by the police officers, the, the rightful pressure. Um, so so I guess they need to be commended to for, for eliciting a guilty plea. Um, so there we go. So thankfully, this absolute scumbag will be in jail uh, for at least 25 years. He's been given a 50-year sentence for murdering his girlfriend's five-year-old son. Um, I'd be happy with a 50-year sentence if... It meant 50 years, uh, but regrettably, we know that it doesn't necessarily mean 50 years. He's going to be eligible for parole after 25 years. Um, and if he were released after 25 years, that would not be adequate punishment in my mind, not for taking the life of a, an innocent boy. Um, that That's not enough. That's not enough. And, you know, e even if it was 30 years, 35 years. So if it was 50 as a minimum, personally, I'd, I'd be happy with that. OK, fine. No arguments. Um, but uh, 25 is inadequate, in my opinion. Of course, spending time in prison is a huge expense to the taxpayer. Personally, I would advocate for the death penalty to to the back of the head get it over and done with and I, I mean this in all sincerity just chuck them in a ditch uh set them on fire be done with it that's what i would do if i was uh in charge of 
handling such situations again the mother is still to face a trial i believe it's a trial for her involvement and again initially she denied involvement uh, apparently that both both this scumbag and the mother uh, said that the boy fell that was uh, initially uh, their their claim but he's i'm gonna say done the right thing in in confessing to the murder uh, which i would imagine and i'm guessing this is sheer speculation on my part but i would imagine that is putting danielle faulkner right in the shit i would imagine i can i don't know what's being said of course but i can imagine that um if she was saying that uh she had no involvement uh that that the that the boy um suffered the injuries after an accident and that turns out to be false which, which it has then i would presume that she either was involved in the boy's death or she was aware of uh what larry had done um her, what her boyfriend had done so she would be complicit in the actions so i would imagine that i don't understand why her charge is only injury to a child causing serious bodily injury shouldn't she also be up for murder or being complicit in the murder covering up the situation i don't know i'm not a lawyer i'm just rambling like an idiot that makes videos on youtube so i'll wrap things up at this point thanks for listening if you do like this video then do have a look at some of the other videos on this channel subscribe etc uh, thank you